Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a pocket change video portion, so if you want to, you can follow the audio podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, uh, Anchor, uh, Breaker, any one of those. Um, but again, this is the video portion. And today's episode, we are going to talk about what is it like to work in finance? Like, what is it like to have a career in the field of finance? Um, I'm Matt. Uh, I make these videos. I have a bachelor's degree in finance, and I have, I graduated in, uh, May 2017 with my degree. I'm 20, about to be actually on this Wednesday, 26 years old, and I have now worked in uh, finance departments in some capacity for the past almost two and a half, almost three years. Um, so pretty young. Uh, I haven't been working in the field for that long, but I've already uh, I've already learned a lot, uh, and I still have a long way to go. So, what is it like? Um, let's start with my first experience in finance, which was when I interned. I interned at a financial services office um, for one of the best uh, wealth managers in the state of Massachusetts. That's where I live. Uh, that's where I work. That's where I went to school, too. I went to a local state school. Uh, but I worked under her, and she is uh, she's incredible. She has been in finance for over 25 years, 25, 30 years. And uh, I learned a lot from her as well as the other advisors. But I got to sit in on client meetings, and that was fascinating to see how certified financial planners, CFP, work um, for their clients. Like over 500 clients between uh, for, uh, financial advisors. So that's, that was really cool. That was really fun to see. Um, financial advising is still a path that I uh, would really like to visit down the line. Once I get older and some more experience, um, it's more of a, you work when you want to, and you will be as, as successful as however much you work and however much work you put in. Um, it's very different from any other field. You are, uh, there is no on the clock. You are working uh, tirelessly every day for, like I said, they worked for over 500 people. Um, so that's one way of getting into finance and that's how I got uh, a little taste of the finance world was when I interned. Uh, when I left school, when I graduated, I went to work for the town that I grew up in, um, that I lived in, that I was born in. Uh, I was very lucky. I got a finance position. Um, I literally walked my resume to the town hall uh, the, the day that it was posted, the day that the position was posted, while I was still in school. And I interviewed for like two, two and a half months, um, several different kinds of interviews to try to get the position. And they did end up going with me. And I was very happy with that and I was very lucky. Um, I worked in the town. I did. Uh, I was a rare position that had to uh, put on many hats and had to do many different kinds of things, including accounts payable, which is where I was mostly uh, sitting during the week was at the uh, accounts payable side. So I would, uh, for accounting, and I'd pay people, I'd pay vendors, I'd pay uh, state, uh, different kind of uh, state permits and different uh, budgets and whatnot. Uh, I would be the one that would uh, send payments to people, um, based on the list that we got in. Uh, and then I also worked in accounts receivable, um, with the town and I would take money. Um, so I was on both sides of the accounting coin and I also did a small little bit of payroll too, uh, which is a whole different kind of animal from, uh, just normal accounting. It's more of a, uh, you need to interact with employees uh, more and answer more employee questions than like outside questions with vendors or uh, taxpayers. So I worked in that position for uh, a little bit over a year, almost like a year and a quarter, um, not quite a year and a half. And then I took an awesome position at a software company. So I made the transition out of municipal government to a uh, privately held software company, uh, not publicly traded, um, privately held. 
and the company uh, was is was at the point 35 years old and they uh, were in the same town that I uh, was working in previously so uh, that helped I didn't really have to go far as far as uh, from my old job to this new job there wasn't much of like a, a travel issue because they're both actually pretty close from where I actually live so it worked out pretty well like that um, but I work right now I'm still in the same position I've been here again like a little bit over a year now it's been like a year and a half maybe I've been at this software company um, and it's been awesome it's been great I love it and I'm in accounts receivable I'm a revenue accountant at this company um, and there's tons of different avenues you can go in the company itself. There's uh, different paths in the finance department um, that I could take. So it's wonderful because there's tons of options. Um, in the municipal government field, just as a side note to go back for a second, it is more difficult for a young person to work in a municipal government field. I found that personally, um, just because there are very few positions, most titles are just one person, um, and most offices are uh, a manager, an assistant, and like three admin assistants. Um, I was not an admin assistant. I had a little bit more of like a hands-on role than just uh, sitting back and coasting and, um, you know, admin assistant kind of work. Uh, I had a little bit more hands-on. Um, but it's very hard to move up, I will say that, in a municipal government setting. Um, you need to really be there for like 10 years before, you, if you have any kind of ambition of climbing, climbing the ladder, um, you have... It, it's hard. It's not easy. Um, you really have to wait because people stay in their positions forever and there's like one position. Uh, very small teams too. I went from working uh, in the accounts payable side that I worked with the town. Um, I worked with, uh, it was myself and four others and now I'm working with 15, 16, 17 other people on my team. So we're going to a private company uh, has been way better because the team size is way bigger. And then also the opportunities are, uh, again, how, however much, however hard you want to work and however uh, long it takes you to master the position, uh, the easier it will be to move around to different, uh, different places. And there's a few openings in different places, not just one person's holding uh, one position forever. Um, there's tons of room and tons of opportunity. So that's the one thing I'll note about the, uh, working for a municipal government, a town, uh, versus working for like a private company. It doesn't even have to be software. Um, could be anything, um, is that it's easier, way easier in the, uh, predicament that I'm in right now to move up and move places either vertically or horizontally across, uh, the company, um, and so that makes it way easier to, uh, kind of get a gauge for, uh, your career path, uh, if you know that you have that chance. If you don't have that chance, it's the same position that I was in, where I ended up feeling like I can't really, I'm not really gonna, uh, go places as quickly as I want to um, in the municipal government side than I would be able to with a private company. Um, but working for, they both have their ups and downs, but working for uh, a private company in finance is the, probably the most common thing that you'll hear uh, young people that are in the finance field go to just because every company has a finance department. Um, if they haven't outsourced it like to another country or to like a systematic kind of automatic uh, way of doing finance, robo finance, um, every company has a finance department. So that does make it easier and it's nicer to know that you have pretty much like any company you look at uh, a Walmart, an Amazon, a Target, uh, a Best Buy. Uh, a Dunkin Donuts, they all have, those companies all have finance departments and they need you. They really, really need you if you are in the finance uh, field or if you're studying to uh, be in finance. 
Um, finance is a specialty position. Not everyone can do finance. It's hard for a lot of people uh, for many different reasons. Um, a lot of people just don't understand uh, the different ways of how money works and how uh, just exactly that, like how money works and how finance works and how numbers work um, for a company and in a company. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that is what a career in finance looks like uh, from my eyes and I hope that that might help you if you're looking into working for a company in finance or working for a municipal uh, state federal government uh, finance position. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. Um, if you just want to say anything at all, I just want to say hi, also feel free to drop that in the comment section. And hopefully I will see you guys soon.